through how to give a penicillin injection. Penicillin is an antibiotic. It's really important that you don't get it in the bloodstream. So there are a few different locations that you can give penicillin. It is really important that it only goes in the muscle. So if you have a big white injection, muscle. Now in the neck, the region we do it, and this is the same as with vaccination, we do it in this triangle. So in front of the shoulder, underneath the neck, and above the spine. So the spine runs down like this. Now, how I like to do it, I always grab a skin twitch because that way the horse kind of concentrates on your skin twitch rather than the needle. The needle is on the syringe. So first up, I'm gonna grab the skin. Now you have to put quite a lot of pressure on to pick up the skin and then you're gonna twist it. This takes a bit of practice. Don't do it with your teeth like me. Now we're not gonna stab her. We're going to slowly put pressure on the muscle. Now sometimes what I do with this hand, I give it a bit of a wiggle, okay? It just takes the attention off again. We're gonna push slowly in, right to the end of the needle. Now the really important bit, we're going to draw back, so I pull, and we check down here where my thumb is, is there any blood? Now there is actually a bit of blood. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna squirt a little bit away and we're gonna put it in again. Now she's not noticing, okay, because I've got a good skin twitch. So again, we're gonna draw back. Beautiful, no blood. Now we're gonna push it in. You don't have to particularly do this slowly, see so you can feel it a little. Halfway, I tend to like to check again, no blood and keep pushing. I have still not let go of the skin twitch. I finish, I pull it out. Then I let go of the skin twitch and I give the horse a good rub. In the event that the penicillin does hit some bloodstream, what can happen is they have either an anaphylactic or horses can have allergic reactions. They can react really severely, really fast. They often show seizure symptoms, which in a horse is quite bizarre and they snort and they can run backwards or they can just try and bolt and gallop around paddocks. I'm sure if any of you guys have had that, you'll know. Maybe comment below what has happened if, you, if that's ever happened to you because it can be very different. And some horses can drop dead off the needle if they have a lot of penicillin into a vein or a vessel and it goes to the brain. Not to freak you out too much, because it is pretty safe to give, but it can have dire consequences. If you're not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. I hope that helped.